So it turns out that Democrats in the mainstream media believe all women unless the woman is politically inconvenient for them. Then the mainstream media can't wait to discredit her. That's right, this woman's name is Tara Reid. She accuses Joe Biden of graphic sexual assault back when he was a senator. She was his aide. Now, I have no idea about the credibility of this accusation. It's weird that this woman never brought it up before now. Even though Biden was in the Senate, he ran for president before, and he was vice president for eight years. The timing of the accusation at least looks political because she was a Bernie Sanders supporter. But she also has people she told about the alleged incident at the time. The whole thing is strange. So are the accusations credible or not? I don't know. But are they receiving the same treatment from the media as the allegations against Brett Kavanaugh? Yeah, right. Enter the New York Times, who published a so-called in-depth investigation into these allegations on Easter Sunday. The New York Times buried this story on Easter Sunday, for goodness sake, probably hoping nobody would see it. But hey, what is the New York Times if not the poster child for mainstream media hackery and hypocrisy? This is what the New York Times investigation found. Quote, no other allegation about sexual assault surfaced in the course of our reporting, nor did any former Biden staff corroborate Reed's allegation. We found no pattern of sexual misconduct by Biden beyond hugs, kisses, and touching that women previously said made them uncomfortable, end quote. Yes, except all of that. Sounds pretty cringy, right? Well, that's probably why the New York Times deleted that tweet and stealth edited their article to remove that sentence, you know, after people noticed it. We've deleted a tweet, they said, in this thread that has some imprecise language that has been changed in the story. Oh, is that what it was? It was imprecise language? See, I thought you twisted the truth on purpose by saying, nor did any Biden staff corroborate Reed's claims to make it seem like she had no corroboration, even though she has two people who say Reed told them about the alleged incident at the time. Funny how the New York Times claims there's no pattern of Joe Biden making women uncomfortable with his touching, except the pattern of women who say Joe Biden made them uncomfortable with his touching. This is the New York Times, quote, last year, Ms. Reed and seven other women came forward to accuse Mr. Biden of kissing, hugging, or touching them in ways that made them feel uncomfortable, end quote. Just seven other women, not a pattern though. I guess it takes a baker's dozen to make a pattern. Better check the back of your college-ruled notebook for the conversion chart to see how many women equal a pattern. But that's not all. Remember when the New York Times painted Brett Kavanaugh as a privileged kid and insinuated that his underage drinking of beer was all the evidence needed to convict him of being a serial rapist? Remember when the New York Times painted Christine Blasey Ford as a sympathetic figure, talking about how her quiet life in academia was disrupted? No mention then, during the Kavanaugh hearings, that there was no evidence, no corroboration. The so-called witnesses outright denied it. Nor could they ever establish that Kavanaugh and Blasey Ford had ever even met. But when there's more evidence than that against Biden, the New York Times says, nothing to see here. The New York Times, obviously, is a joke. And the satire website Babylon B said a more appropriate headline for this wildly biased New York Times article would be, New York Times' in-depth investigation of the allegations against Biden reveals he's a Democrat. Like I said before, the whole accusation against Biden seems fishy and political, but even so, there's more evidence to back this accusation up than anything thrown at Kavanaugh, and the New York Times knows it. But they're covering for Biden, because that's the rules of the left. Believe all women, unless the woman attacks a Democrat, then she's probably a liar.